Hey everyone, it's Michael, and I'm back with your streaming TV news and updates for October 2024, brought to you by michaelsavesdeals.com. Let's get started with a deal to create the largest pay TV company in America. Just announced, DirecTV has agreed to acquire Dish Network for $1.00. Just a buck. So yeah, I'm talking about two big satellite companies, but they both have streaming assets. On a website DirecTV has set up, the company said the acquisition would help them offer smaller, more affordable packages, like what they were fighting for in the recent dispute with Disney. Now combined, DirecTV and Dish have about 20 million subscribers, and that includes the streaming services DirecTV Stream and Sling TV. This deal, pending regulatory approval, and it's expected to close in late 2025. And also announced the day I'm recording this video, AT&T is getting out of the entertainment business, selling its majority stake in DirecTV to the private equity firm TPG. Let's keep it moving. And now to this, a new study ranking satisfaction among TV service providers. And no surprise, it found live TV streamers are more satisfied than cable and satellite customers. The biggest gap in satisfaction, that had to do with pricing, and this is all from J.D. Power. The reported monthly average cost for live TV streaming, $75, while cable and satellite, that's up to $120, bucks, a $45 a month difference. YouTube TV ranked highest in the live TV streaming segment, and that's for the second year in a row. Hulu Live right behind them. For traditional cable and satellite, Spectrum ranked highest, then Xfinity. This J.D. Power study was based on responses from more than 32,000 customers. So let me know your rankings down below in the comments. While we're talking about live TV services, how about some rapid fire updates? Hulu Live's price increase takes effect this month. The live TV plan, which does include the Disney bundle, will cost $82.99 a month, and that all begins on October 17th. As I mentioned in last month's video, other Disney services are also increasing in price. Fubo is expanding its multi-view feature. No longer just for Apple TV users, it is now available in beta for select Roku devices. Fubo sent this along to me. These are the Roku models currently supported, and the company says more devices that support up to four streams are coming soon. Now, unlike YouTube TV's multi-view, Fubo is fully customizable, so you can select any channels that you want and include them in multi-view. The service has a free trial for you to check it all out. I'll leave a link below if you're interested. DirecTV Stream is getting even more expensive. The base entertainment plan will start at $86.99 a month, and that's as of October 6th. DirecTV and Disney have made up by now, so all channels are restored. But I do think this is new. I noticed this banner at the top of DirecTV Stream's channels page, and it warns customers that channels are subject to change. So hopefully there's not another channel blackout in the near future. Aside from the price increase, no significant changes to the DirecTV Stream bundles at this point. We're going to have to stay tuned for the cheaper, more flexible plans. There's a new version of my favorite streaming device, the 2024 Roku Ultra. The company says it's got a new processor, so it's going to be faster, quicker app launches, and the new Voice Remote Pro. The second version of the Voice Remote Pro is definitely an upgrade. I really like that it's backlit, and it also has two new keys, quick launch for your personal shortcuts, and also live guide. The regular price for Roku Ultra is $99.99, so 100 bucks. It's available now on Roku's website and will be more widely available in the coming weeks. My Roku Ultra is a few years old, the 2020 version, and it's still going strong. So I'm thinking I'll probably wait until the new one goes on sale for at least 30% off, or I may just upgrade to the new remote and keep my existing Roku device. Little more about Roku now. The OS 14 software update is gonna be rolling out over the next few months. I've got a few of the highlights listed here a kids and family destination on the home screen, the ability to access most device settings with Roku Voice, and thumbs up and thumbs down icons for content. Now, if you've had Roku for a while, you know that these updates are automatic. There's nothing that you have to do on your end. It's just gonna take some time, and one day you're gonna start noticing the changes when you fire up your Roku. Spectrum is responding to pressure from 5G home internet services. The cable company 
now offering a 500 megabits per second internet plan starting at $30 a month. So what's the catch? Well, you need to bundle your internet plan with two lines of Spectrum Mobile or Spectrum Video service. And if I were you, I'd go with the Spectrum Mobile over video. I also review phone plans, and I think it's actually a pretty good service that relies on Verizon's towers. Now with Spectrum, there are no contracts for these services, and the company is also introducing price guarantees for those who bundle. Look, the more competition, the better. And you can compare your best internet options with this tool on michaelsavesdeals.com. The link is down below. I know, it's only October, but Hallmark's Countdown to Christmas is starting this month, Friday, October 18th. Here's a movie guide. I'll also have a link to this below. There will be new Christmas movies every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night through December. A lot of my viewers who don't have a big bundle get Hallmark during the holidays through Friendly TV. And another good option for Hallmark is a subscription to Peacock. Also this month, the one and only exclusive ESPN Plus Monday Night Football game. It's in week 7, so October 21st, between the Chargers and the Cardinals. And there's another game that night on the ESPN cable channel, Ravens and Buccaneers. Disney's password sharing crackdown is underway. In case you didn't know, a Disney Plus subscription is intended for a single household. So if you're sharing your service outside of your home, there are now two options you need to know about. First, the person outside of your home can sign up and get their own subscription. And second, the person outside of your household can be added as an extra member to your account. But that's going to cost you an extra $7 a month for Disney Plus Basic and an extra $10 a month for Disney Plus Premium. Only one extra member slot per account. The ABC Network app, it's gone. This was actually one of the better TV network apps because of how it spotlighted free, unlocked content. But mostly, it was for pay TV subscribers. Without a pay TV sign-in, you can still watch some current ABC shows on a computer at abc.com. But otherwise, you may want to pick up a subscription to Hulu for all the next day ABC shows. And a quick reminder, Hulu typically offers a Black Friday deal. It's for new and returning customers who have not had Hulu in the past month. So this might be a good month to cancel Hulu if you can. But if not, there are plenty of people using spouses' email addresses or creating secondary email addresses to take advantage of those upcoming deals. Follow me, I'll keep you posted. Hey, thanks for helping this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. And just recently, the Michael Saves channel hit a new milestone, 30 million views. I've been on this beat since 2016. I know you've got choices, so I appreciate you watching and supporting michaelsavesdeals.com. See you next time.